everybody. It's Shalene, and I'm just checking to make sure this is recording. But sometimes it says it isn't. Yep, it is. Okay, Happy New Year! That's right. I I was going to start recording a video a day, but when you don't have much of a life, there isn't really anything to say. Um... All I've done this week is gone babysitting my grandsons, come home, some days I read, some days I play Sims 2. There really wasn't anything for me to say. So this video, I did finish one book this week, so I'm going to talk a little bit about that. I'm reading one now, I'm almost done and I'm loving it. And then I'm going to show you my TBR pile for January. So first things first... Um, I've read Eggnog Murder by Leslie Meyer, and it had three eggnog stories in it, murders, by three different author authors. I forgot who the other two were. Um, each one was based on someone drinking eggnog, and they had an allergic reaction or something was put into it that shouldn't have. And then the main characters are people in the community who like to solve the crimes, even though they're not part of the detective agency. I gave it a 3 out of 5 star. It was very good. I also received it from NetGalley. So this month what I'm going to do is I have... I have nine books, including the one I just read, so now I'm down to eight books that are mysteries from NetGalley, and I have eight books that are off of my physical bookshelves that I want to get read. I will read as many as I can. If I don't get to them all, that's fine, too. I'm not going to kill myself trying to get them all read. It's just... You know, this is what the pile that I want to work with. And what I was going to do first was read all the NetGalley books and then go to my physical books. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to alternate. So, like, I just finished a NetGalley book and now I'm reading one of my physical books. And then I'll go to a NetGalley book and then I'll read a physical book. So this way I'll be happy with both. Um, and I'll show that in a minute. Um, anything else going on with me? I've had a small cold again. It came on New Year's Eve, af New Year's Day afternoon. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if something triggered. Um, my husband took down the tree and like an hour later I got like this. Um, I'm not sure if it's the weather. We've had weather almost 50 degrees, and then it drops down to the 20s. So I'm not sure if it's a cold or if it's sinuses. It kind of feels like sinuses, but um, this weather has been crazy. Like I said, it was almost 50 the other day, and now we've got a couple inches of snow. So, um, it, yeah, it's just been really crazy. And um, I've been busy with my grandson. My my oldest grandson will be three in a couple weeks. So they have been really working really hard with potty training him because we wanted to do it over the summer and he wanted no part of it. Um, he's doing great right now. Um, he gets up in the morning and he's still dry from sleeping overnight. The only thing that he has not done in the potty yet is poop. <laughs> For some reason, he just does not want to do that in the potty yet. So it's cool, you know, and he's doing really great. We're proud of him, and we high-five him and tell him he's a good boy. So we're excited. And um, other than that, um, my show Bones that I watched came back on Tuesday night. I did DVR it because I wasn't feeling well. I went to bed early, so I will be watching that today. I do have today off because... Amber's hours were cut at work, so she's afraid she might have to look for another job, but they will still pay me the same amount. <coughs> so, I do have Carson for a few hours today. She has um, a dentist appointment. And there's a new show on tonight. Tonight's Today's Friday. It's called Emerald City. I think it's on NBC. 
It's supposed to be some kind of like Wizard of Oz type thing. So I'm going to try watching that tonight and see how that is. But um, now on to my TBR. So um, I these are the books. I'm not going to show you the covers because it, it always glares on my tablet. So for NetGalley books, I have The Fifth Petal by Brunonia Berry. First Degree Murder by Kate Dyer. Haunted is Always in Fashion by Rose Pressy. Shades of Wrath by Karen Rose Smith. The Day She Can't Forget by Meg Carter. Tohe Get Your Gun by J.R. Ripley. <coughs> Schedule to Death, Mary Felis. And A Fatal Romance by June Shaw. And then for physical books, I started in here at midnight. I have about 100 pages left. This is so good. This has to do with 17-year-old, um, what's her name? Avery. And her grandmother is really, really wealthy. Avery has... She never sees her father. She was born from an affair. And her grandmother had told her her mom died. And she lived with her grandmother. Well, her grandmother's very strict. She doesn't let her go see friends. She doesn't let friends come over. Um, you're supposed to just stick with family. So Avery's always tried to escape her grandmother's house. She's gone to parties. And so her grandmother took her to a school, which is like a prison for her. And there's even bars on the windows. So she escaped that. The night she escapes that, um, her lawyer's, her grandmother's lawyer, get away from the table. Go on. Her grandmother's lawyer's son comes to get her because there's a competition. The grandmother's sick. And in order to inherit all her money and run the family business, <coughs> all of the family members have to do this competition. The first test is a written test on the family history. And then from there, there's all kinds of challenges. And when you're in the last person to win that part gets eliminated, you do not you get a hundred thousand dollars check if you're 18 and older and you're done. If you're not 18 it gets put in a trust fund. So there's all kinds of challenges and it keeps knocking out family members. The family members have always been mean to Avery. Her cousins have always said nasty things to her. She has one who's physically hurt her. <coughs> so for her to go up against them has been really hard but <laughs> it is so good. She is not giving up, and she's finding out things about her mother. So I can't, I should be able to finish it today. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, the next set of books I have is The Husband's Secret by Leanne Moriarty. And if any of you have any of these books I'm talking about and you want to do a buddy read this month, let me know down below because I'm all for that. I have The Pocket Wife by Susan Crawford. Um, the Stranger by Harlan Coben. Scarlet Undercover by Jennifer Latham. Black Fin Sky by Kat Ellis. Guile by Constance Cooper. And You Don't Want to Know by Lisa Jackson. I don't know anything about these books. Um, Harlan Coben is one of my favorite authors. And the other books were all um, books that were mentioned from YouTubers that they liked or they bought and they sounded good. So I bought them. So that's my TBR for this month. I know it seems like a lot of books. Depends on the weather and what I'm doing. I might be able to get to them. 
<coughs> I have not <coughs> gotten any cross stitching done. I did watch two movies the other day. My son had off work, but I still went to his house to babysit, and him and I sat and watched. Well, he had to take um, my one grandson to an appointment, so that's why I still babysat. When he came back, we sat and watched TV. We watched Need for Speed, which I love um, fast cars and muscle cars and all that, so I liked that. And we watched Suicide Squad. That was strange. They had um, Will Smith in it. It was good. I liked it. It was just strange. So that's what's been going on here. It's just cold. Come on. I have a cat that wants to say hi. Pearl wants to say hi. Say hi, Pearl. Good girl. She's a good girl. So, and now the dog wants in on it, but you can't see her. Now you might be able to, because she thinks she's a lap dog, but she's not. She's a German Shepherd Rottweiler mix. <laughs> she loves my grandson. No, go on. So yesterday, um, Amber texted me on her way from work saying that um, for me to have the boys ready, because they were going... She had, she had an appointment. The boys had an appointment, or just Blake did. And um, would I have them ready to, so she could just stick them in the car? So when her and Dylan got home from work, I already had their coats on. So I was getting mine on, and Carson said he was going bye-bye to Mima's house, which is my house. And I said, really? <coughs> and Dylan said, did you tell him he could go to your house? And I said, no. And Dylan said, did he ask you if he could go to your house? And I said, no. And Carson said, I go to Mima's house. So Amber walks in the house. He says the same thing to her. And I said, well, I guess he's going to my house for a while. So he came here and played with the dog. They play together in Rough House. And they have a good time. It's good for both of them. So that's all that I did yesterday besides read. I was going to play Sims 2, and I said, nope, I really, really want to finish this book. But it was going on 1130, and I couldn't keep my eyes open, so I'll finish it today. So that's all that's been going on here and what I'm reading. Let me know what your plans are for the month and if you've read anything good already. And if you like this video, subscribe and click on like. And I'll see you next time, and hopefully I'll make another video tomorrow. I'm hoping to do it daily. If I don't do it daily, it's because I have nothing to say. <laughs> so, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.